Hi everyone, welcome to Financial Insights. I'm Linda, your accounting coach. Today I want to talk about how to build your business. This task, or this thought I should say, is not taught in business school. I've actually learned this throughout attending webinars, um, looking at podcasts, and what I've learned on how to build a business is that you need to build a business advisory team. Um, someone may, you know, just say, well, you need a, a team of coaches. Well, I call this, this is your dream team. Everyone needs a dream team in order for their business to be. So let's get started. Number one, you need to have a banker, an accounting professional, a lawyer, and a business coach slash mentor on your team. And you may ask, those are a lot of individuals, you know, what do I discuss with them? So I want to give you three items to discuss when you're meeting with those individuals. Number one, discuss your business, discuss, um, actually, I would say, and give them an overall financial review. And what I mean by that is know your numbers. So when you're sitting down quarterly with, um, with your lender, with your attorney, just say, you know what, this is how things are going. You know, sales have increased by such and such. You know, um, even though I um, created a new product line, I did, our expenses did go up because of this and this. Um, We're looking to um, project revenue to be at this certain amount. You know, we're meeting our budget, you know, or we may be 50% over budget because of these internal external um, factors. So, Provide them a financial overview because you want these individuals to know, first of all, you're taking care of your finances. And then number two, it shows that you are you know your business. You have actually sat down. You're thinking about what's going on, execution. Number two, what you want to discuss. You want to discuss your current business situation. So this is really overall operations. You know, how is your customers doing? How is the economy and other external factors affecting your business? And you're giving them this information because they also work with other businesses and other business resources that may be able to help you with your business. So this is why you're providing them a bit, you know, an overall of what's going on with your business. And you may want to think about, you know, with this topic, it's thinking about the SWOT analysis, your strengths, your weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So if you can't think of anything else to discuss with them, you know, discuss with them that analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Lastly, discuss the future. Discuss what you're planning on doing, what's going on for the next six months. Once again, this gets back to when you're letting people know, particularly in those fields, what's going on with your business, they know other people that can assist you. And then also, too, they may have ideas on how to streamline processes. They may have ideas to say, have you ever thought about this? They may have a new marketing tool that they you know they use and it may be helpful for you so discuss your future goals so once again provide them an overview of what's going on number two an overview of what's going on operationally um, that's marketing that's sales that's staffing technology wise also and then discuss what your plans are for the future yes before the end of the year, you select one of these individuals, whether that be your accountant, uh, maybe that's your banker, your business mentor, schedule 30 minutes and say, you know, just wanted to check in with you, um, see how things are going with you. I can tell you what's going, you know, check, you know, I can let you know what's going on with me. That's how you build a relationship. And then also, too, when you're meeting with those individuals and you know, feel free to ask them what's going on with your business. How's everything going? You know, you may end up start talking about their children, their family, whatever the case may be. But and then also, you know what, in return, provide something for them. You know, particularly they may say, you know what, I'm looking for an after school program for my kids. And you may say, oh, man, I know of a great program. It doesn't always have to be business. 
So always um, with, with these individuals, those are that are on your dream team, also provide some value to them also. So I hope you find this information helpful. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you.